No, your, your, your mate who's a window cleaner overruling the World Health Organization. <laughs> you need to respect that self-confidence because he's overdosed on podcasts. And then, like everything else, Joy. the people who go too extreme the other way, I, I think there should be a monthly booster vaccination. You relax as well, you fucking junkie. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Kevin Bridges, the Prince of Glasgow. <laughs> Bill Connolly is the king, I think so. Let me know what you guys think below. But yeah, this is how COVID will be remembered. It's so crazy. COVID was, COVID was about three years ago. I started this channel just right after, around COVID, after COVID. It's so crazy, man. Let's go. It's been a while since I've performed here. Obviously, a fucking global pandemic did not help. I think that it's over, and I'm pretty sure COVID's gone. It's still, there's still lockdowns in China, but it's fucked off home after a, <laughs> after a successful world tour. It's back there. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> I mean, it's still here, but we've just lost all respect for it, really. What a fall from grace that virus has gone through. Even its numbers are being disputed. And it? COVID, I've done the research. I know it killed six and a half million people worldwide, but I don't know if that's Hall of Fame when you look <laughs> at the rest of the, the big hitters in the virus world. Some of the real goats. Oh, this <laughs> the Black Sorry. Death, 200 Sorry. million. Wait, 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 wait. When he goes war toy, COVID is done a war tour and it's gone back home. That killed me. That killed me. If you don't find that funny, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Life is too short. Laugh, man. Enjoy it. Kevin Bridges in his prime right here. I'm guessing this is very, very recent. This is a live from Leeds. Uh, the overdue catch up. Yeah, this is probably 2023, 2022. But yeah, I'd love to see these gigs in life, man. Hopefully, it's touring very soon. I'd love it. The Spanish flu, 50 million. COVID, sex, and COVID. <laughs> COVID was even claiming assists towards the end. <laughs> My 19-year-old grandfather died from COVID. Come on, that's a fucking tap-in, man. Can <laughs> I bet a black ice was getting him. We can't have COVID running away, celebrating that one. <laughs> See, I missed this. A room full of people offline and laughing. It is a beautiful thing, and it? It's a nice feeling, and it's something that you don't realise how much you appreciate it until it's gone. Because the world is an angry place, it's a divisive place. I'm a people person, but a lot of people are inherently decent. There's just a dodgy batch circulating. But online is where they stay. Like every issue becomes volatile. The vaccine, for example, when that arrived, you had your anti-vax mates, no, your, your, your yeah. mate who's a window. That was, that was mad, like for me, I don't care. Like when it comes to the vaccine, I had to take it. I don't because I lived in England. I still live in England right now, and my family's in Ireland. So I had to go back like every four or five weeks. And back then, if you had no vaccine, you couldn't fly. So I don't. I'm not taking. I'm not saying. Oh my God, no, no, no. I don't care. I took the vaccine because I'm like, look, we're all gonna die. <laughs> we're all gonna die anyway. So and since my family already took it, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I don't. I don't stress too much. You guys have to realize. There's so much things going on in life. Don't stress over the littlest thing. If someone told me they're not getting the vaccine, I'm not gonna argue with them. No way, because that's your choice. That's your life. You're probably not traveling anyway. But if you have, if you have stuff to do, I remember during COVID, I had to literally, I had to keep traveling because I had to go see my family. I was trying to do so much stuff. I was just so busy, so I couldn't not take the vaccine. It wasn't, and also there was just so many things I, I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted, I was playing football. I was just. There's just so much stuff. For me, it made sense. To today, I don't regret it. Sometimes I might go, nah. <laughs> no, no, not really. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. That's just my kind of evil. That's my kind of evil. Uh, I've got a strange, strange weird humor. But yeah, let's get back to the main star, Kevin Bridges. Let's go. Oh, clean up. Overruling anti vax mates. No, your, your, your mate who's a window cleaner. Overruling the World Health Organization. <laughs> you need to respect that self confidence because he's overdosed on podcasts. And then, like everything else, the people who go too extreme the other way, I, I think there should be a monthly booster vaccination. You relax as well, you fucking junkie. <laughs> 
How many milk do you need, man? What are you getting itchy, mate? Are you starting to fucking shake? <laughs> I need a bit of Moderna, man. I'll fucking take anything, mate. I'll... AstraZeneca, don't give a fuck if it causes blood clots. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Fuck, get it in there. <laughs> the conspiracy guys, they're everywhere. That's it. They, they thought the whole thing was a hoax, a pandemic. That's what some people called it. And if, if COVID was a hoax, it was a good one, wouldn't it? Credit where it's due. If it was a wind up, it was a fucking screamer. It's somebody who loves a laugh. <laughs> the whole world shot. Sorry, I feel like with everything that happens in life, again, I don't care, I'll pause it. You guys that do watch my channel, you're okay with it. If you don't watch my channel, you're probably not used to the pauses. But yeah, I feel like COVID was so bad here. But you gotta take positives out of some stuff. COVID, I don't wanna say saved my life, but it COVID let me realize what really matters in life. Because there was a time, so prior to COVID, I probably only got home like, for like three days. I stay in Ireland for like four days max. When I go to Ireland, of course, four days max. But then I end up staying for a month. And I, I started seeing this stuff I missed, you know, staying at home with my family. I was with my mom and dad for like more than a week for the first time in probably like 10 years. And that felt so good, you know. I, I started seeing what's going on in my parents' life, in my brother and sister's life. Because life goes so quick. You think you know what's going on, but you don't. But then two years, mainly there was one year I was mad, 2021. That one year, being back home in Ireland, going for a walk, quiet walk seeing people talk about their life, I was like, wow. We just worry about us. We don't think of what's going on. There's so many things going on. There's so many things to see. Now, it's not that I don't fear death. It's more like, as long as I've done things I want to do in life, it's going to happen. What's going to happen is going to happen. He said, I said, whatever we be, we be. He said, I said, I'm having singing. Let's get back to this. You didn't come for all this shit, did you? Let's go. Even McDonald's fell for it. Even churches, that was the big one. When, when places of worship were forced to close. Wow, what a moment in human history. We live through a time where organized religion listened to science. That is <laughs> massive. That was, that, was, that was COVID's biggest achievement. <laughs> the Big Bang, nah. Evolution, nah. A dry, continuous cough and changes to your sense of taste and smell. <laughs> Fucking shut the cathedral! <laughs> Somebody sanitise the synagogue! These geeks have got a point! <laughs> I don't know if religion can ever recover. <laughs> Two Christmases got cancelled. <laughs> because of science, wow. Jesus' birthday, cancelled twice. <laughs> a big one as well, a 2020 first. Ah, it's a big birthday. <laughs> Done. Oh, God. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't laughed like that in a while. Like, I would, like a lot of comedians make me laugh, but I haven't laughed like that in a while. I miss Kevin Bridges, man. It's been. Well, on this channel, it's been a week, so prior to that, I've done about 12 or 15 reactions, so it's been a while since I think I've, I'm so glad I did this. Uh, I'm going to try and make sure I do more from this stand-up. I hope it's not blocked on YouTube, because if it's blocked, that means I have to put the copyright stuff on it. But then you can watch it without the copyright on Patreon to support me. You don't have to, but if you want to support the channel, you can check that out. Yeah, I want to see more Kevin Bridges or anyone else like Kevin Bridges. I love Scottish comedy. That's why I'm doing uh, Steel Game. You guys, I'm watch still game with me i post still game every monday and i'm also reacting to gimme 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 it's an english old uh english tv show that i'm posting every friday when i finish that i'm gonna do the lee mac show what's that called again not going out that's the next one and also cash oh my god i'm so excited there's so much i'm gonna do it's gonna be so tiring but i like it this is what i love to do apart from my normal job this is me I love it. And thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.